welcome back to another Healthy Keto Eating Show. Coming back at you with another new recipe here. And I know that I promised I would do a live today and you're getting a food video instead. I totally forgot that Thursdays, either Wednesdays or Thursdays, and this week it happened to be Thursday, is my day with my husband when I do my outfit of the day for you guys for Fashion Friday's outfit of the day. So I apologize, it just fell. Normally we do it on a Wednesday, but this week it fell on a Thursday because he was working so much. So I apologize, but I thought I still gotta bring you guys a video because it's keto day. So I will be live this weekend though, either Saturday or Sunday, and I will let you know. I always let you know like a day before in one of the videos, like either the outfit of the video, I mean, outfit of the video, outfit of the day, my Fashion Friday, I'll put it in the description or I will put something in on Saturday, like a video and I'll tell you to be on Sunday. It will probably be Sunday this week. I'm assuming it's gonna be Sunday this week. Sunday usually works out better for me and for a lot of you guys too, Sunday does. So I'm hoping and shooting for Sunday and I will let you know that on Saturday then. If I'm gonna do it Saturday, I'll let you know that in my Fashion Friday's outfit of the day, I'll just put it in the description. So look for that. But anyways, guys, I've been working on some t-shirts. I've been making some t-shirts. Check this out. I made this one, Keto Power and My Fist Bump. A lot of you guys that have been following me for a while know that a lot of times I end when I'm talking to you, uh, writing to you, I end with Keto Power and I put that fist bump in there. And you guys know that I end my channel here with Always Keep It Keto and do the fist bump. Well, I made myself a Keep It Keto t-shirt. I've done a, um, what I do earlier today, I did, I, I am a keto junkie. Um, and then I've got, um, was there another one? I think just those three so far, but I'm going to be doing um, a low carb, high fat. I'm going to be doing a, um, this, this gal runs on ketones. I'm going to be doing um, keto AF. And I make these. Now they are iron on and then I go around it with bubble letters. It helps to hold the lettering on. Um, that you just, what I recommend is, and I've made many of these because my brother used to be in a band, my two brothers used to be in a band, and they had Vixens, which were dancers, and I was considered Mama Vix. So I made a lot of t-shirts that said Mama Vix, exactly the same way with the iron-on letters, and I did the bubble paint around them, made them all different, and I just washed them inside out on a gentle cycle without anything, you know, I just washed the shirt by itself, or the shirts, by themselves, and then I would pull it out, put it right side in, and hang it up. I never, you know, dried it in the dryer, and I never had any problems. But it's really cool. This one here, the um, Keto Power, I actually did this, uh, this, um, well, maybe I can get up closer and show you, the fist bump. I did that freehand, and I did the thing, because, you know, I always have polish on my nails, so I did, like, a swirl uh, blue and white, because I love, love, love blue. But, yeah, I did that fist bump freehand, and it's um, kind of raised a little bit. You can see it's raised, but isn't that cute? I love it, you guys. Love, love, love my t-shirts. Love this one so much. Love the blue because I'm a blue girl, and I love how it has the black writing with the white paint. So I love it. But yep, keto power, everybody. That has been my saying from day one. When I first started keto, I remember after the first like month losing like or not the first month, the first like 20 pounds that came off, I started saying that to everybody, keto power, like turtle power, you know, like the turtles, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I started saying keto power. It was my thing. And then of course my channel is Keep It Keto. I decided to change it that. That was my logo. That's my logo. Um, so I did do a Keep It Keto t-shirt. And like I said, I'm doing a few different ones. I love them. And I, I'm going to start wearing them when I do my keto videos for you guys. That way, you know, hey, we're going to, um, you know, advertise keto for you guys now if you are interested in a shirt you can email me we'll talk or whatever if you're interested in one i can do it in any color you want any size you need any you know writing you want however you want it what you want it to say i'm sure some of you out there are going to want it to be keep it keto since you follow me and you guys love me and you know that that is my channel name keep it keto so i'm sure a lot of you guys are going to want that but you can have it done whatever color shirt whatever color um, you know, bubble paint you want over it. So just come in and get, you know, send me an email and we'll talk. But yeah, isn't this awesome, you guys? I love it. And this is a size extra small, You, I mean a small, small, small t-shirt from Walmart. It's nice length. I love it. It's got the A-line to it. So I like that it goes in and it is long. When it's out, it's like down to here. But because I'm getting so skinny, I can wear it tucked in 
Check that out, you guys. Look at the booty rounding out. Ha <laughs> ha. Yep. I am really, really, really uh, defining my body and everything and looking great, but I just can't believe I wear a small. I used to wear a 3X, you guys, a 3X shirt, and now I wear a small. But yeah, we're going to start wearing the logos because, hey, this is a keto channel. Now, of course, I do nails, toes, and fr uh, Fashion Fridays all for the day. I won't be wearing any keto on those days. But my keto videos, we're going to advertise and do keto logos. So, yeah, I'm excited to show you guys. I've done something uh, something special for me and my good friend Monica from Team Dave and Mon, who is definitely a strong, dedicated woman, also lost her weight very fast. Like I did, I did it in 15 months. I lost 150 plus pounds. She lost 150 plus pounds or 150 right there in like 18 months. So we both are just very dedicated. We've kept it off. She's been able to maintain now for, um, I think she's coming up on her two year or she just passed two year. I think her two years in September. I think it's coming up this, this month coming up this next month. She's going to be two years in, which is just amazing. She's been able to maintain uh, for a few months. I've been maintaining. Um, I lost, I started in 2015 of November. I lost it in 15 months and then I maintained out for about a year, year and a half. And then I just decided I wanted to lose a little bit more, but I've been ketogenic for almost four years, been able to keep the weight off for, well, after the 15 months, I've been able to keep it off and lose more. And you guys know that I bring proof to the table because I come in and do videos all the time. And I'm always standing up showing you pictures. You see outfits of the day, my fashion Friday, you guys get to see, you know, me up close and that and all those photos. None of those are photoshopped because you see me come in and I'm talking. Plus when I do my live, can't photoshop a live, right? But anyways, yeah. So I love my keto power. This is, I love all of the ones I'm doing, but I think this one's probably my most favorite saying is keto power. It was something I said from day one. And then, like I said, I decided to change my channel from Angel's Heavenly Nails since I was doing so much keto to keep it keto. And I love that. I always tell everybody to remember to keep it keto because it's important. But my favorite first saying was ever keto power. And I always did the fist bump. And when I write to you guys, I usually will end with keto power and give you a fist bump. So when, you know, when you guys write, uh, messages to me. A lot of times I will end it with keto power and give you that fist bump. So because it is, it's it's powerful and it is the way it is. I mean, you guys, this is the new generation and it is the most sustainable way of life. And if you do it correctly for weight loss, like I teach everybody, if you're new to my channel, you're going to hear me. Uh, you'll hear me now and lots of after you're going to hear it. If you are old to my channel is keto was designed three ways for losing, gaining and maintaining. So when you're in weight loss mode, you're going to use the high fat, low carb. You're going to use the high fat off your body and eat lower fat foods. Use your body fat as your high fat energy source. And this was taught to me professionally by my keto doctor, my two keto nutritionists, and my brother who teaches this as a job. Okay, every one of them did the same thing. My keto doctor did it that way. My nutritionist did it that way. They used their body fat and got it off quickly because that is your energy source. Why would you ever eat fat if you have fat on your body? And like I say a lot of times, perfect saying, use your fat to lose the fat, eat the fat, to keep the fat. So if you don't need to lose any more, you're going to eat fat, so you're going to keep your body in maintenance mode. Or if you're overweight, a lot of people say, I'm not losing any weight, I'm just keeping the fat on my body. Well, that's why you're keeping it, because you're eating it. Don't eat it, let it eat itself right off of your body, give you all the nutrition it needs, and then you're going to see true results. Always stick with people that bring real results to the table. Even Dr. Berg said that follow skinny people that have done keto that can bring real proof to the table. Keep the weight off. Keep maintaining. And that's what I do. Yes, I'm I, a person that does 40-hour fasting, alternate day. That's what it is. But I'm off this week again. I did it for like six weeks, took a week off. Then I did another week and then took a week off. And that's kind of where I'm sitting right now. I'm pretty happy with the weight I'm at. I range between 128 and like 132, right in there. And I'm happy with that. If it goes up to like 132, that's usually that time of the month for me. Or I'm holding a little bit of fluid from a lot of resistant I'm doing. I'm doing resistant and um, cardio. So sometimes your body will hold that fluid. That's just going to happen. So always give yourself a little bit of breathing room. And that's why I wanted to hit into the 120. So, you know, I wouldn't go past. Never wanted to see the 140s again. And when I first hit that first goal, I was 
139 and I would always range 139 to like 145 and I did not want to see the 140s anymore so that's why I decided to go lower so it's 120s to you know very low 130s and I feel great I wear a size small to extra small in shirts my pants are size two to four and some of them are a little bit some of my twos are a little bit big on me so sometimes I can be as small as a zero uh, I bought myself an extra small shirt and it actually was a little bit big on me or a dress I think so yeah I'm I'm happy now I am 43 years old I wasn't expecting to get down to like you know a, a teenage size which they say for me I could be between 118 and 128 and the reason they give you that window is because yes when you're older you can hold a little bit more weight younger you're gonna want to be thinner so but I'm 43 years old I feel like I'm 16 though feel like I'm 16 so maybe I should weigh the weight of a 16 year old but no I'm happy my doctor is very happy with my weight I am a 22.6 I believe BMI so excellent 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 because a 24 is the high end of a BMI and like uh I think 18 is the low end I'm a 22.6 I believe or somewhere right around there perfect BMI I am a perfect BMI and no complaints here I feel wonderful and I used my body fat to get it off and that's why I got it off so fast I know a lot of you are struggling and saying I can't get it off because you're right I'm eating too much fat because I'm being taught that's what you're supposed to do well I wouldn't bring this to you guys unless I was taught professionally and that's why I bring it I myself am not professional even though I've done a lot of studying now ketogenic for almost four years so yeah I know my keto but they do recommend that you do use your body fat because that is your high fat source to start with, okay? And then you're going to get to maintenance and then you're going to do that 70% that they talk about fat. And if you're trying to gain weight, you're going to eat even more. You'll eat probably around 200 grams of fat a day. Uh, if you're uh, maintaining 70% is around one, uh, what do they say, like 110 to like 150 right around there for uh, fat. And it's all good fats, people. Stop this processed foods. Once in a while is okay on the go, but don't do it all the time. Stay away from the processed foods, you know. Diet soda is okay once in a while, but don't do it all the time. You know, drink more water and stuff like that. And then I always teach drink to taste on keto because you go to the bathroom a lot. It is a diuretic way of life. So don't force more in. It's just going to make you go more. You're going to lose your electrolytes. If you're feeling weak, fatigued, tired, dizzy, just off one day, then you're going to want to take some pink salt or sea salt, one tablespoon, one tablespoon of no salt, put it into eight ounces of water and drink it down. If you don't like it like that, you can throw it into like a Power Eight Zero once in a while. You throw it in a Power Eight Zero, then it tastes a little bit better. It's sweet, salty. I like it like that. Or if you don't have that on hand, if you have pickles on hand, drink some of the juice. A couple swigs of that will help you, but that's a temporary. I mean, I mean, just a quick fix. I really recommend that you do the pink salt and the no salt. They sell them both at Walmart. They sell the pink salt at the Dollar Tree. So, you know what? That's how you're going to get your electrolytes up within an hour. So you're going to feel great. And that's what you want to watch. Um, but yeah, it's just the most sustainable way of life. And everybody is doing it. A lot of people not doing it correctly, not understanding why the weight isn't coming off. They're confused. Like, you know, I lost a lot. And then just all of a sudden I'm sitting still. Well, that's the reason. Anybody's going to lose weight in the beginning if you just you know, cut out diet soda or pop and drink diet. You're going to lose weight if you're very obese. You're going to lose 100 pounds easily, 150 pounds easily. My brother was very obese. My um, youngest brother, Tommy, in four months, just, you know, cutting some things. And he did eventually do keto. But before keto, he just tried just eating a little bit less food. That's all he did. He ate everything, a little bit less food. He lost 150 pounds in four months because he cut something. So yes, if you are cutting carbs, you're going to lose, but you're going to plateau out and you will sit there forever. And I don't want you guys to sit there forever. I don't care who you are, no man, no woman. And I'll put a lie detector on you. If you say you don't care if it takes five years to lose it, I will put a lie detector test on you because I know you will fail. If you know you can get it off in a year to 15 months, believe me, you're going to do it my way because you're going to want to get to that you know, goal that point where you can start eating better because yeah, even eating lower fat, a lot of people don't want to do that. They don't want to eat low fat because they're like, well, everything's so boring. But I tell you, I recommend keep it boring in the beginning. Who gives a crap? As long as you get to that go weight quick, get the weight off. Now you get to up everything and eat good, healthy fats, good, like fish cooked in olive oil or coconut oil or butter. You get to eat, um, you know, like red meats. Then you get to eat cheese and butter and nuts and the oils is coconut oil olive oil mct in your coffee you don't cook with that but just in your coffee or the avocado oil things like that you're gonna use real butter i mean so many things you get to enjoy and eat when you're in maintenance and you're going to maintain that weight forever because our bodies were designed to eat fat not carbs but we weren't designed to eat fat if we are fat so if we are fat and that's no cut on you i was a 300 pound woman at five foot four 
Now I'm 128 to 132 pounds because I cut the fat and used my fat and that's how I lost it. So that being said, guys, get on board, use your fat, eat lower fat. I don't mean go zero. You don't have to go zero. You could, it wouldn't hurt you, but you don't have to go zero, but just eat lower fat by eating low lean meats, good green leafy veggies, put just Parmesan cheese on it. Don't use butters and oils and, and uh, coconut oil or any of that. Don't eat nuts, they're high in fat. Don't eat cheese, buy low fat cheese, buy low fat mayonnaise, low fat cream cheese, keep everything low fat. And if you need help, I link my email down below. I will help you to understand macros and get you started because everybody's gonna be different. And you're gonna be different as you go along your journey. You're gonna you know, continue to drop calories and stuff like that, but everybody's gonna be different. But that's what you wanna do. And the magical number for ketosis is 20 carbs or less a day with only six in one sitting if you're eating more than one meal a day. And intermittent fasting and keto go hand in hand. So learn to try to do at least a 16 hour fast. Start off slow, six hours, then try to work up to eight hours, but get to a 16 hour fast where you go 16 hours, no food, eight hour window where you eat. You're gonna usually eat about two meals, maybe two and a half meals or two meals and a little snack. That's usually what you're gonna do. But learn to do that because those two go hand in hand and that's why I lost it so fast too, using my body fat, learn to do that too. And you're going to get it off. And I'm here to help. I wanna be your AA too. I wanna help you and guide you and um, just get you through it. I have many people that have emailed me. I've helped you all and you all are losing weight. I just had somebody email me the other day. I forgot the name telling me, thank you. I've lost 73 pounds in like, I think she did it like five months. Okay, you guys, because she's doing what I'm saying and I wouldn't bring it to you if I didn't, wasn't taught this professionally. My keto doctor and nutritionist and brother did this form, use their body fat, lost the weight and now they eat the fat. Okay. So that's why I bring it to you. I bring it professionally. And like I said, I bring proof to the table. Keto power, everybody. Keto power. Now, on to dinner here. Enough talking, which I know you guys love my talking. <laughs> um, I've just made a kind of a hot dish here. There's going to be a slideshow, quick and easy. Um, look, this one's a little bit heavier in fat, so here's how I'm going to tell you how to lower it. I did ground beef, but I did use the lower fat ground beef, and I did rinse it. You're going to see in a picture, I rinsed off all the grease off of it. Um, but if you want it even lower, use ground turkey in place of this or the super lean uh, hamburger and wash your hamburger. Get that, get all the grease off of it before you put it back in the pan. After it's cooked, cook it, then drain all your grease off, then put it back in. But to make it even lower, use ground turkey. Okay, the next thing is I used pesto. Now, I don't know what to use in place of pesto. I used a green pesto. Pesto is very high in fat. It is, okay? But we can't really use a lot of sauces. Pesto is very low in carb, but high in fat. So, Make it a day where it's either a dirty keto day for you or a day that you have, you know, you've eaten low fat all day, super low fat, keep it for that meal then and just have it with that and that's fine, okay? Other than that, then the rest is just green onion and I chopped up two of them and then I've got mozzarella cheese, which is very low fat and Parmesan. But if you wanna cut even more fat out, don't use the mozzarella, just use Parmesan. Parmesan is so low in fat, use tons of it if you need it. Tons and tons of it because it's very low fat and it's zero, zero carb. This entire meal, I made it two servings for me and my husband, it was a pound of hamburger. You could definitely make this into four servings. It's just because I, a lot of times, only eat one or two meals a day or I do that 40 hour fasting where I need to eat a little bit more because I eat every other day. Uh, but anyways, um, it was 11, uh, 12, 12 carbs for the entire dish because I also count my seasonings as a carb. I've got oregano, pink salt, and pepper in here. So the pepper and the oregano, even though I used it very lightly, I still count it as a carb, always do. Um, so I'm saying that this entire thing was 12 carbs. Split in half, I have six carbs right here. Six carbs for me, six carbs for my husband. And it looks amazing. So the hamburger, the um, green pesto, the green onion, Parmesan cheese, mozzarella cheese, oregano, pepper, and pink salt heavily heavily pink salt. It is a myth when people tell you that salt's gonna stay on your body. Well, first off, when you use sea salt or pink salt, it doesn't stick with you. Table salt will. Don't use table salt when you're doing keto. And we need salt on keto. We need at least 35 to 4,000 milligrams a day because we go to the bathroom so much. It's a diuretic way of life. You're getting rid of all your inflammation and your fluid out of your body daily. So heavily pink salted or heavily sea salt your food. All right, let's eat. I'm just drinking a water tonight. Like I'm teaching you guys, don't drink a lot of sodas or a lot of the diet stuff out there. 
You don't want to do that either. It's just not healthy for you. Try to drink as much water as possible. But sure, once in a while, you can have a diet soda with it or a Power Eight Zero, or you could do those meals, I tell you guys. But those things, remember, now are done with Circlos, so be careful. Some people can't have Circlos. It kicks them out. You have to buy the ketone strips. You have to test. You have to learn your body. I've taught you that in uh, live videos. Learn your body, what it can and can't take in. Stevia, monk fruit, those are the ones made that, you know, with the sugar that we can do on keto, but a lot of the diet sodas are aspartame. Aspartame is the one that I can do. I don't get kicked. Circlos I can do, but it just kicks my color a little bit, okay? Some people can't do Circlos at all. They can do aspartame, but not Circlos. Just learn your body, and it's so easy. Drink a diet soda, wait a couple of hours, and urinate on those strips, or drink a diet soda, buy the, the strips that are by the blood, which is expensive because the strips are a dollar a strip, so it's $50, you get 50 strips. You can do that. You can drink a soda, and right after you drink it, test it immediately, and then it'll tell you if it kicked you out. So if you have the money, I would say buy the blood strips. If you, Yeah, the blood strips. If not, then buy the um, ketone strips. They have worked for me for four years, for my brother for almost six years, for Monica for two years, and many more people that are doing them, the ketone strips work. If they're showing negative, you kicked yourself out of keto. That's the problem. That's the only problem. Those will work forever. They do. My brother can still get them to work six years later. So they do work. And my doctor and nutritionist told me that, yes, they do work. They still can get color on them. And they're years in. They're years before me. So that's the thing. They do work. So I have a little sip of water here. But yeah, so just, you know, you could, like I said, the drinks you can have is Powerade Zero. You can have, um, they even make a, a Gatorade. A two now, I think um, that's like a Power Eight Zero. You want to get that one or um, diet sodas. Just you know, look for ones with more of the aspartame. A lot of people can do that a little bit easier. Um, the meals, meals are done with the circles, but the meals are okay. You know, if you just find that your body isn't, you're not losing, you're doing something wrong. So it might be the fake sugar. So, but anyways, let's dig in now that my cheese is all melted. Now, now we can take a bite. It does smell really good. I love green pesto. I love it. I love it so much. This would have been really great with spinach. So that's another option you could put in here. I did green onion because I've done dishes with spinach in it, but spinach or kale would have been great with a green pesto. Yum. We'd be a little bit more carb, not spinach. Spinach is pretty low. Kale's a little bit higher in, in carb. Not bad, but a little bit higher in carb. Um, but I didn't have any on hand, so I did green onion just to give it a green. But yeah, if you want to put something in it, do spinach. Spinach is the greatest and the lowest. Like for an entire bag of spinach, which is going to cook down to nothing, use the whole bag. I think it's like three carbs for the entire bag. Okay, it's very, very low. But here we go. Let me stand up and show you. Yum, yum, yum. Wish I would have had some spinach now because that sounds so good with this. Mmm, yum. I do have a video, though, where I did the green pesto and spinach. I don't remember if I did it with chicken, uh, with those noodles. I'm not sure how I did it. You guys will just have to go back and look at my playlist. I have a playlist of over... 150 keto recipes that I've invented myself. I basically have recreated almost every meal out there and turned it into keto. Keto doesn't have to be boring. But a lot of you, I do recommend, keep it boring in the beginning just to get your weight off. Who cares what you eat in the beginning? Just eat egg whites, things like that, turkey bacon, turkey sausage. Keep it as low fat as possible and get that weight off quick. Use your body fat, guys. That's why it's there. It's there. It's screaming at you. Please use me. Because what's happening is... Yes, it's a high-fat diet, so it's going to burn the fat off that you eat. But then when it gets to your body, your body's going, well, I want it to burn some too. But now you're eating more fat. That's what your body, your body's talking to you. Your body's telling you, use what you got right here. There's tons of it, tons and tons and tons and tons of it here. Use that first. Listen to your body. Listen to your body, and you are going to feel amazing. Ask anybody on my channel that does it the way I do it, and it's hundreds. Ask them if they do it with low fat and how they feel. Because a lot of people say, you can't do that. That's dangerous. You can't go that low. I'm not asking people to go low in calories. I'm asking you to go low in fat. You can still up those calories, okay? You can do it by adding in more protein. Now, I do recommend that protein is always half your body weight in grams, but when you are first starting out, you can go a little higher in protein just to get those extra calories with low lean meats. So, that being said, don't be afraid, guys. Just ask people in here if you want to. How many people I have helped with success, and I bring it to you real from doctors. Mmm. This is good. There's so many ways just to throw something together. It was so, so easy to make. Oh, I do have one more thing through here. I can't believe I didn't tell you. Cauliflowered rice. So it was hamburger, cauliflowered rice, green onion, um, the mozzarella cheese, Parmesan cheese, pink salt, pepper, and oregano. That's what I have. I forgot I have cauliflower rice in here. So 
in place of it, you could do the spinach instead of the cauliflower and rice. Okay, both are going to be low. But to keep it low, skip out this mozzarella cheese, even though it's low. It's just that, that the pesto um, and the pesto sauce on here, sorry, forgot to tell you that. Um, the pesto sauce in here, that's going to be high fat. So just eliminate, wherever you can, use ground turkey and take out the mozzarella cheese. Now you just eliminated quite a bit of fat. So, but if you're in maintenance or you're having a dirty keto day or you're trying to gain weight, eat everything here. I'm telling you, don't even drain the grease off the hamburger then. Eat the grease off the hamburger because you need more fat then on your body. Um, maintenance mode, you really don't, you know, just, I mean, you do need to get your fats in because you'll feel weak if you don't, but you'll know. I know exactly how much fat to get in without feeling weak. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh my God, I love this. Come up close again to show you guys a picture of it. Of course, you're going to see a picture at the end. But doesn't that look good? And yeah, that's what's in it. God, I can't believe it. I forgot to tell you the cauliflower and rice. Wow. That's like, because I'm saying spinach and forgot I had cauliflower and rice in here. But you guys always see a slideshow. I show a picture of all the ingredients. So the only picture I didn't show until the end was the mozzarella cheese because I didn't want that in the photo because I'm trying to teach lower fat. So, and even though I used hamburger, I you saw in the picture I drained all the grease off of it. And it was already a lean hamburger. I love my keto power, you guys. Keto power. I love this shirt. Oh my God. And I love that my arms are getting so toned. Look how short these sleeves are. My arms look fantastic. I'm proud. I am not boasting, you guys. I am just very proud of myself. I have worked darn hard in the last four years, almost four years. I've worked hard to maintain this weight, to teach all of you guys how to do it. I mean, it's not easy. First off, it's not easy to lose it. But if you listen to what I'm saying, it's going to fly off of you. If you use your body fat, it's going to fly off. And when it's off, the hardest part is maintaining. That's when, you know, we get to a point where we're just like, oh my gosh, do I have to eat this way the rest of my life? Yes, this is a way of life. But once in a while, you can have a splurge. Uh, don't call it a cheat day, though, because would you cheat on your husband or wife? No, call it a treat day. If you have to try, you know, treat something, eat something that's that's off plan, it's going to kick you out of keto for about, you know, three to five days. If you want to get in quicker, you want to just eat meats, basically do carnivore for three to five days, you'll be back in really, really quick, especially if you're fat adapted, you'll be in, which just means you've been doing it a long time. So you'll get back in pretty quick. Don't worry about that. But yeah, once in a while, a treat is okay. Once you get into maintenance, I myself in four years, I've only had nine cheat days, you guys, nine in almost four years. And I waited till all my weight was off before I ever had my first cheat. So, or treat, I don't like to call it a cheat. So, and like my good friend Monica would say, when people ask, would you like this? And it's something off plan. Don't say, I can't have that. Say, I don't eat that. Because there are certain things we don't eat. Don't say can't. Because then you feel deprived. It's not, we, it's not that we can't. We can do anything we want. It's our body, our life, right? We don't do it because it's not keto. So. Mm -mm 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 -mm. But yeah, I am terribly sorry, you guys, that I am not doing a live video for you today. I'm doing this video a couple days prior to what the live would be. But I'm saying live today because today would be the live. But I forgot this was a week my husband was taking me out on Thursday to do my outfit of the day and that's when I spent time with him and I didn't have time to do the um you know the live with you guys. I'm sorry about that, but I will be in and I'm I'm thinking Sunday. I think that's going to be the day. I will mark it for you, let you guys know and either like I said, if it's the Fashion Friday, I'll mention it. If it's going to be Saturday cuz I open it Friday for my Fashion Friday and I'll mention it for Saturday's morning or Saturday if I don't do it Saturday, I'm going to open a uh healthy keto eater, eating show for you. And I'll tell you in there and um, put it in the box. So set those bells. Subscribe to my channel, you guys. It's right there, right in the corner there. See that? That red subscribe button? Subscribe to my channel. Help me grow, you guys. I need to grow so I can help more people. So subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you are notified of all these things. And when I hit my live, so you can come in and join me in live with my keto questions and answers. You can ask me millions of questions and share around my channel, please, so I can grow. I need to grow. I need to grow, grow, grow. I want to grow this channel and help the world get their life back. Because one of these days, I'm sure they're going to be taking a lot of these keto people away because money's being lost in the food industry, the drug industry, and doctors are losing money. So I'm sure a lot of us will be taken down. But me, I'm going to be Gandhi, and I'm walking the streets.
<laughs> Nobody's going to take me away from nothing. But anyways, and then definitely shoot me a thumbs up. I love that. I love those thumbs up. Love them. Love them. Makes me smile. Makes me happy. Makes my channel grow. Mmm. This is delicious. I try not to make too long of videos, but I talk so much. But I want to get all the information out to you guys. So now let's just try to eat, I guess, so we can get this video done. Mm, 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 mm. Remember, if you're interested in a shirt, just send me an email. You know, we can talk and discuss it. I can do it any saying you want. And I'll tell you what, just like my strength ring that I wear, that I've wore for the whole journey, it says strength across it. Let me turn it. It is from my Christian bookstore. Hopefully you can see that. I'll get up close. It says strength in big letters. I got it from my Christian bookstore. It's the Philippians 4.13 Bible verse. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So just like that, just having a keto shirt on just makes you feel good. Just makes you feel like I'm staying keto. So you know what? And I know a lot of you guys who really, you know, follow me and love me. I know you're probably going to want either a keto power or my channel name. Keep it keto. And I'm sure you're going to wear that proud. So, yeah, just let me know, guys. Because I know a lot of you guys are going to ask when you found out I made these shirts. So, And I'm very good with them. And like I said, I've made many. Always did it with the bubble letters. Never had a problem as long as I washed it inside out. Cold cycle. I forgot to tell people that. You don't want it warm because you don't want it to melted any of the lettering or anything, which I don't think it would, but I always did cold cycling. That's what it says on the thing to do um, for the paint. Cold cycle, buy, you know, buy itself clothes unless you have a few of them. You can wash a few together because they're inside out, but just do a you know, couple, couple of these items together on a cold cycle, a very gentle cycle or light cycle. It'll say, um, you know, gentle or uh, I don't know, you know, just what your washer would say would be a gentle cycle. Then turn it right side in when you're done and hang it wet. Do not dry it. And I literally still have my Mama Vic shirts. They're giant on me. But I wore them for two years. Two years and they're still all perfect. Never lost any lettering on it. Never lost anything on it because I took care of it the right way. So that just tells you guys that my, you know, my work sticks. Okay? You're not going to lose anything on it. And you'll know because watch how many times you'll see me in this. And I can't wear anything more than once. I have to wash it. I just have to. Nothing. I mean, even a sweatshirt. I know people say, a sweatshirt? You can wear that again? Uh-uh. Once I get undressed for the night, everything comes off. Everything, even a sweatshirt. Unless it's just like a zip-up jacket I wear outside. My jackets. But shirts, sweatshirts, all of that. Uh-uh. I cannot wear it more than once. I, I just feel like I'm just dirty then. If I wear it the next day, I just feel dirty. And I'm a clean person. I, mean, I don't stink or anything. I wear perfumes. I'm a girl. I never stink, especially doing keto. Your body, you don't get odors and stuff. Um, but I just, I have to throw it in the dirty clothes. So I will be washing this after I wear it today. Right away. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is really flavorful. I like it with the cauliflower rice. I think I would really like it with the spinach, too, with that green in there. But that cauliflower rice is really good because I've done other ones, like I said, with the spinach. Whoa. This was another quick, easy, inexpensive meal. I got the hamburger and the cauliflower rice and the green pesto. And the Parmesan and the mozzarella cheese, all from Aldi's. So it was very cheap. And even if you got all these things at another store like Walmart, it's still going to be very cheap. So I bring you guys quick, easy, inexpensive meals. With an exception once in a while of them being a little bit more expensive. That oregano and onion, perfect. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. 
I love the blue. My favorite color is blue. That's why I did it on blue. Sure. Love it on blue. And the fist. I had to have it look like a fingernail because you guys all know I always have my nails done. So when I did, you know, did the thumb print right there because the thumb shows when you do a fist bump, your thumb shows. So when I did that, I had to do it with the little print and make it look like it was fingernail polish. Because it's my fist bump. And it's no, just smaller than my fist, but I almost was going to do it the size of my fist, but I had to paint and fill that all in. So I didn't want it too big. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. I have the windows closed. I got to open the windows. I know it's the end of August. I live in Minnesota. It should be scorching hot outside. We've had 60 and 70s. Beautiful weather. I'm not complaining. I just don't want to say goodbye to summer. So, but we shut our air off like a week ago and we've been just opening the windows. It's been so beautiful in here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful weather. Perfect weather, actually. But it just tells me the kids just went back to school on Monday or Tuesday, and it just reminds you when kids go back to school that it starts to get chilly, but I remember many years, it wasn't chilly till October, me and my husband, we renewed our vows every year, and we were doing it the first part of October, and it was still hot, so I don't know why it's getting so cold, wake up in the morning, it's like in the evenings, it's like in the 50s, like in the evening right now, so that's more fall weather for us, and then like during the day, the highest we're getting is like 70, 72. So, gorgeous, gorgeous weather. I'm not complaining because you're not sweating or nothing, but I like the heat. Since I lost the weight, I like the heat. I'm not a person that really sweats unless it's super hot or if I'm working really hard. But since losing all the weight and doing keto, yeah, I barely ever sweat. I'm always cold. <laughs> but I was a person that was always hot, always. So to be reversed and always be shivering and always cold, and I'd rather be cold than hot. But yeah, I'm always cold. I'm always complaining. I'm freezing. I'm freezing. I'm freezing. I'm freezing. And they're like, they're freezing at 72 degrees. That's just me. That's because I'm skinny. You guys, when you get rid of all that insulation, you're going to be cold. And they say when you produce ketones, it does make you a little bit colder when your blood is, you know, uh, ketones are running through your blood. So even being thin or still overweight, you're still going to feel dizzy. You're going to be really cold. All done. Absolutely delicious. Another great healthy keto eating show. Uh, you know, meal for you guys. Definitely try that one out. And like I said, to lower it, use ground turkey. Don't use the um, uh, mozzarella cheese just to save on some of it. I know it's low in fat, but I'm just saying why add any more when the pesto is going to have so much in it. So, and you can replace the uh, cauliflower rice with spinach if you want to too. That would be really great. Or kale. Either one. The kale would add a little bit more. The spinach would be around the same carb be 12 carbs for the whole dish, 12 or 13. If you add kale, it's going to be like 15 or 16 for, um, I think like two servings or four servings of the kale, um, where the spinach, you can use the entire bag and that's only going to add this. The cauliflower rice was three carbs for the entire bag, three, three and a half carbs. The, um, spinach is going to be three carbs for an entire bag, a big one. But kale is like for just a cup, I think a cup or two cups or something like that is like some are four, some are five. It's a little higher, so just be careful with that. But yeah, spinach would be around the same exact carb count on this. So, But anyways, again, I love you guys very much. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell. Share my channel. Hit the thumbs up. And let me know if you're interested in a shirt. Shoot me an email. You'll see me on this weekend doing Keto Live, and I'll wear my Keep It Keto shirt for you guys. So you guys can see that one too, how I designed that one. I love you guys very much. Everybody take care. God bless, and I will see each and every one of you in my very next video. And always remember, everybody, do it with me, because I know you guys know it. Always remember to keep it keto. Good night. All right, here's the ingredients. One pound of ground beef or ground turkey to keep it low fat. One bag of the cauliflower rice, two green onion stock. One can, 6.7 ounces of the green pesto, Parmesan, pink salt, oregano, and pepper. Get out a skillet or fry pan and start heating up your ground beef. And then add heavily pink salt, pepper, oregano. Cover and let cook. Of course, stir it a few times. 
Go ahead and heat up your cauliflower rice in the microwave. While that's heating, go ahead and wash and cut up your green onion into like bite-sized pieces. When your hamburger is done, go ahead and rinse off all the grease to take off all the fat. Or if you use ground turkey, don't worry about it then. Throw it back into the pan and then add your green onion, your full can of green pesto, your full bag of cauliflowered rice. Give it a good stir and then put the cover on and let the flavors simmer for about 10 minutes. Then go ahead and add Parmesan cheese to taste and then serve it up. I also added a fourth cup of mozzarella cheese, but you can avoid that too just to save on fat by using ground turkey and no parm or no mozzarella use Parmesan. This was absolutely delicious at six net carbs a plate. Definitely give it a try. I also got a couple photos um, coming up here of the shirts I made. Here's the first one. The next one is my Keep It Keto, and I'm going to make different ones, different colors. And then I have another one that says, I am a keto junkie. If you're interested in any, let me know. Mm -hmm.